Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Marguerite Sipion, known in court files as Marguerite, a free woman of color, was an African Natchez woman who was born into slavery in St. Louis. In 1805, two years after St. Louis came under U.S. rule, Marguerite filed the first freedom suit in the city's circuit court, 41 years before Dred Scott filed his more well-known case. Margaret Sipion's grandmother, Marie, was a member of the Natchez tribe. Marguerite therefore argued that her mother, Marie Jean Sipion, had been held illegally as a slave after 1769 when the Spanish governor, Alejandro O'Reilly, abolished Indian slavery in the Louisiana Territory. The Scipions initially filed suit in the Louisiana Territorial Supreme Court in 1806, which ruled against the family. Undaunted, Marguerite did not give up in her desire for freedom. A new law passed in 1824 protected slaves' rights to sue against illegal enslavement, and Marguerite and her family renewed their petitions. Finally, in November 1836, Marguerite, her children, her sister, and other descendants of Marie-Jean Sipion won their case as free people of color. The unanimous jury decision in their favor was based on their maternal descent from a Natchez woman. The decision withstood appeals to the state and the United States Supreme Court in 1838. Marguerite Sipion's case put an end to Indian slavery in Missouri. I'm Beth Richard, the Library Director at Capilinkin Community College, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.